What is up? Today we've got just an unbelievably cool weapon to take a look at. But before we do that, it would greatly help me out if you would hit that subscribe button. Make a comment. I'm really trying to build up this platform. I've got some really cool things I, I want to do in terms of some... Uh, some links to some weapons and and some discounts for for all of my friends and subscribers but i need to get the subscription number up on youtube so if you could do that it would greatly help me out and if you're over here from TikTok or one of the other platforms man thank you i'm glad i'm glad you glad you made the trip over all right so let's take a look at this fucking thing so this is made by V7. This is a, a 308 with a 16 inch barrel. It's called the Harbinger, which I guess Harbinger means a, a bring, bringing of change. And I guess what that change means to me when I, when I hold this fucking thing right here is this thing is unbelievably light. This thing weighs like six and a quarter pounds. And if you followed any of my hog hunting stuff, you know I'm a big fan of the 6.8, the 6.8 Special. I use an LWRC 6.8, which is about 80% of the energy of a 308. But that platform is much easier to carry around. I mean, sometimes I walk four or five miles a night. So you know a big 308 you know an SR25 or an AR10 that extra weight adds up when you're carrying it around all night so this right here is an absolute game changer this thing is probably lighter than my LWRC it is loaded with just unbelievably cool materials I mean everything on this thing is like top of the line and ultra lightweight whether that be the lithium aluminum buffer tube it has titanium everywhere it has magnesium parts I mean the thing is just really incredible when you pick this thing up you're literally just not gonna believe it now there's a few things on this thing I'm gonna have to change I'm gonna have to tweak a few things. So this video right here is kind of an unboxing of an in an introduction. So what we'll do, we'll take this thing out to my ranch, we'll do get some shooting, we'll, we'll get the optic on it, we'll get it all zeroed and then we'll, we'll have a more thorough review. But let's take a look at a few things that are really cool about this and then I'm gonna show you some things I'm gonna to have to change. So I think one of the first things that's really apparent is this thing has a really cool matte finish. It just looks a little bit different than a lot of weapons you see out there. I personally really like it a lot. All of these little parts, I mean even these trigger and hammer pins, I believe the takedown pins, I know the grip screw, all of that stuff is titanium. This bolt carrier group is titanium and it's unbelievably light. I mean it's it's unbelievably light compared to a normal bolt carrier group. This trigger, this is a Geisley G2S single dual stage trigger. And I'm a Geisley guy. All I use is Geisley triggers. I've been using them for years and years. If you're not familiar with the G2S, you could kind of say it's like a poor man's SSA. I, if I shoot a gun with an SSA and then I put a G2S and go back and forth, I can tell absolutely no difference. And I've put thousands of rounds through each of them. The difference comes in the manufacturing process, the G2S. It, it, it's like batch checked for, for quality assurance. It doesn't have the laser etching. And then on the hammer pin, it has a little clip to kind of hold, hold, it, hold it in place. So it's just a little different, but in terms of feel of that trigger, to me, it feels exactly like an SSA. I think it's a great deal. Um, so that's a big deal right there because normally if I were to buy a gun I'd have to go and put a Geisley trigger in it and you're looking at 240 
at least $200 up to $250 depending on what trigger I put in there. So coming with a Geisley two-stage trigger is big. has a BCM pistol grip. All of this, you know, and then everything else is pretty much all V7. I mean, this forward assist is titanium. Uh, made by V7, they have a their own charging handle, which is really which is really cool. I mean, it's not a Radian. It's probably not going to be my favorite charging handle, but but it'll work. This thing does have a titanium gas block. It's also unbelievably light. Has a stainless steel, a fluted fluted stainless steel barrel. This muzzle device, this it's kind of an A2 style birdcage muzzle device. This is actually made it a titanium. It's super, super light, but I'm gonna have to change it, so that kind of sucks, because if they cost like 100 bucks. When we get here to the stock, we've got a mission, mission first tactical, minimalistic stock, which I'm gonna be honest, I don't like these very much, but I'll tell you one thing, it is unbelievably smooth. One thing, I've used this on other builds. This is a lithium aluminum 11 position buffer tube. The castle nut and the end plate are titanium. And then the spring and the buffer are coated. And this is probably the smoothest buffer system that I've experienced. I mean, it's unbelievably smooth. It's unbelievably quiet. I mean, it's right there with the you know, the JP Silent Capture or, or the or the Geisley. It's it's just a tremendous and it's also ridiculously light. So I love this. I'm probably gonna get rid of that stock and we'll talk about that in just a second. So let's go over some things I'm gonna have to change and you're looking at one of them right now. So for a gun that costs thirty four hundred dollars, why that this gun would not come with an with an AMB safety, I cannot explain. And I also know that I'm sure this is a V7 safety. It's made out of titanium. So it's not like it's, you know, really a throwaway part, but I had to go spend $75 to replace it with an AMB. So again, I think we can do with a little bit more weight to have an AMB safety on this fucking thing. I absolutely never hunt without a suppressor for the most part. So, uh, although this is a really cool muzzle device that's made of titanium and weighs next to nothing, it's going to have to go bye-bye, which kind of hurts my hurts me a little bit, but we're going to have to go with the old cherry bomb because we're going to put a Q trash panda on here. And if I'm going to be carrying this, it's going to have a suppressor on it. So that's coming off pretty quick. In terms of the stock, you know, I mentioned already I'm not a big fan of the Mission First Mission First Tactical stock. Uh, it's, I've used it on a couple builds. I've never liked it on any of them so far. It feels a lot smoother on this with this buffer tube. So I haven't decided if I'm going to give it a shot or not. It is extremely light, so it actually really goes well with this with this weapon. So I mean, we might see. But more than likely, we're going to end up putting this on there, which is that uh, Magpul MOE SLS, which I've really grown fond of. It's it's just a great stock. I, I don't know what more I can say about it. I've had tremendous luck with it. It's just a great stock. In terms of the optic, this, this may surprise a lot of people that uh, I'm not going to put a thermal on here. You know, I've got two other guns set up with thermals. I have another gun set up with night vision. Uh, another 308 set up with night vision. So I don't think I need another gun set up with a thermal. So what I decided to do with this is go with a low power variable. And to me, when I saw this, this is that the new Razor. The 1 to 10 Gen 3, and this thing is just unbelievably light. 
compared to the other Razor. You know, I have one of the one to six Gen 2s, even the more lighter version. But this thing is really light. And it's got absolutely crystal clear optics. So this is what we're going to run on this gun. We're going to put this on. I'm really pumped to, to run it through its paces. In terms of a mount, you know, it's I had a hard time finding a mount. I mean, I would have really liked to run with a Geisley mount on this. Couldn't I couldn't find one. So what I did, it was able to get is this Seekins Precision mount. This thing has a 34 millimeter tube, so it's going to be nice and bright. So this mount is actually, this cantilever mount, it's actually really pretty light. It doesn't have, you know, quick, quick release, but I'm not really into that. I never have had the confidence to be taking optics on and putting them back on. You know, I got, I got enough guns and I got enough optics. I really don't need to be fucking switching shit around and you know trying to keep track of what gun goes with what optic and you know that's just really not for me I, I put an optic on a gun I'm absolutely obsessed with making sure it's zeroed as great as it can possibly be zeroed sub MOA on almost everything I own and to me that just doesn't lend itself to taking optics on and putting them off I, I just never had a need to do it I got In closing, I mean, I don't get too pumped up a lot of times, but this is just kind of so unique. It's really got me pumped up. You know, I, I'm just really looking forward to going hunting with this thing and carrying it around. It's just so nice and light. It's just such a refreshing weapon. So I'm pretty excited about getting out there and killing some stuff with it. What we'll do, I'll, I'll do another video after I get everything tweaked on it. We'll do a video of it, shoot, of shooting it. By the way, I just bought a uh, Arsenal AK with a folding stock, the milled one. I forget the model number, but we're going to be doing a review on that. I'll be posting some shooting videos of that thing. If you haven't subscribed already, stop fucking around and subscribe. It really helps me out. I can't tell you how much I appreciate all the support, all of my all my followers and friends on TikTok and on other platforms. It means a lot to me. And if you would subscribe, I mean, I'm trying to really improve this channel. I hope everyone has a tremendous day. Out.